other drums in Africa is called Jembe, and that one is called Manake, or we call it Tsekere. And this one is called Azogo in my native language, but in America here you call Cowbell, right? In British they call it something different. In Britain they call it uh, Gong, G-O-N-G. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to another instrument, a plastic instrument. This one is called Talking Drum, because it talks. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to sing a song now. I'll see how many of you can recommend a song. Okay, with this drum. Can you, can you get this one? It's a talking drum because in Yoruba language, which is the popular language I came from in Nigeria, um, it's a tonal language. So therefore our music uh, made in a way to follow tunes. So I'm going to demonstrate that one now and see how many of you can recognize the song that we sing with the drum. Okay? I'm co-chair of the Multicultural Committee here on campus. Um, I'd like to introduce um, our president, uh, President Jack Sprague, and give a welcoming message. Um, everyone, please give me a round. Well, 
Well, thank you, Bob, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, another great occasion for Bristol Community College. It's always a great time to celebrate our diversity and our inclusion. Uh, I'm very proud of what we do here at Bristol Community College. Uh, you know, I say the same thing every year at this time. This uh, should not be a 30-day or 28-day uh, uh, festival. It should be something that we make part and parcel of our daily lives uh, 365 days a year. Uh, and that's the same for all of the uh, various uh, activities throughout the year, Hispanic Month, Women's Week, and uh, whatever it is. We might have a day for one thing or another. Uh, but uh, we don't want to limit it by time. We want to uh, make it part and parcel and so integrate it into our uh, daily activities and our uh, BCC operations that it becomes uh, just part of the fabric of the college on a continuing basis. Uh, to that extent, uh, uh, I think it's time to move forward. I want to thank uh, you for coming. I want to thank our drummers and our guests for uh, uh, helping enliven our event. Uh, remember to please keep track of the uh, various activities throughout the month. Uh, and uh, there's one beginning tomorrow as well with African American literature. Uh, and also keep in mind that uh, uh, Dr. Ron uh, Weisberger has offered to, uh, is offering a uh, course free on uh, the uh, readings of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, and it's in our uh, program, uh, the information about how to get registered for it. Okay, so I think what the plan is, is for us to uh, take our traditional uh, campus march and uh, led by our drummers and guests and uh, then we go to the flag raising and then uh, scrumptious, delicious food that is available for us in the, uh, in the cafeteria. Okay, so I thank you all for coming. Remember that we uh, need to keep Dr. King's uh, dream alive, keep hope alive uh, as we work for a better world and uh, by uh, emphasizing our inclusivity, uh, Bristol Community College does more than its fair share in that regard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the events that we are going to have and we do have planned th not only this month but throughout the year are put together by the Multicultural Committee which is made up of volunteers from all areas from all over the college and we're always looking for additional members. Um, the committee produces events which allows the college community to develop an understanding of, respect for, and appreciation for the richness and beliefs and values, traditions and practices from people from all other cultures, um, as well as heightened awareness uh, of the pervasiveness, rea pervasive realities of discrimination stereotypes due to race, gender, religion, social class, disability, sexual orientation, and linguistic background. The committee strives to present these uh, events which demonstrate that differences among individuals not, need not lead to division and discrimination, that these differences among com groups are actually community assets. And when people learn about the world and the, uh, from the perspective of a diverse group uh, that shapes historical con and contemporary events, that it will lead to uh, 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 individuals who will, who will participate and become more compassionate citizens for today's society. Uh, today we're here uh, celebrating the opening of African American History Month. Um, we have a number of events that you'll notice that if you look through that brochure, highlight the events that are happening this specific month. But as President said, these events are, ha do happen throughout uh, the rest of the year. Uh, as an example, back in September we had the um, Life and Times of Paul Robeson, which was a really great event uh, about another great African American uh, in our America's history. I do want to point out uh, or highlight uh, one in particular, and that is the presentation that's happening on February 28th. Uh, Dr. Corey Walker, who's the chair of the Africana Studies at Brown University, will be here, and his presentation will highlight the importance and results of uh, the African American struggle for equality in the light of the 150th anniversary of the An Emancipation Proclamation this year, as well as the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington, which Dr. Martin Luther King gave his famous speech, uh, I have a dream speech. Um, so at, as we um, are going to start our festivities today, we're going to start with our ceremonial walk, uh, march around the campus, and then we'll stop for a flag raising, uh, raising and then come back in for that fair that will be held in the back here uh, in the atrium. So if everyone's ready, I'm going to throw this out back over to uh, Busy Kualaway.
and his group to lead us in the, the march. Thank you.